What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is appreciated and it is that time of year again. Time of year where Christmas lights are decorated around the neighborhood. It's Mary Chrysler. There is occasionally snow on the ground, very rarely here, but it also gives me an excuse to decorate the Q50 with a roof box. Now there is actually a purpose for me putting my roof box on. I do take my Q50 occasionally when I go snowboarding and I am going snowboarding this weekend actually. So I've already pulled the Z out. Just gotta move the Q50 in the garage, that way I'm not freezing, and we can go ahead and get it started. Actually, for right now, I think I'm going to leave the Q50 right there just because it gives me more room. If for some reason it does get too cold, then I will move it inside. Also hoping that this isn't gonna take me too long to get done, so we'll see. So, quick little trip to the backyard, and the roof box is just chilling. So, open it up, and we got the rails. So these are the universal rails that I bought from Walmart. Luckily, I know where they need to go perfectly on the car because I left a mark there and there on the roof. So annoying that it's there, but also nice because I know exactly where it needs to go. Only extra annoyance is refiguring out how these damn things work. So basically this is how it goes. This piece sits flat on the roof and then you have this little extension piece that grabs on. When I bought this, it had like two different connection pieces that you can use on the edge here. Uh, this is the one that I went with. And then this piece, pretty sure you just crank it and then it tightens, but I'm gonna check the other side just to make sure that everything's even and then uh, do the same thing to the front. So these are just a crank method. So I'm gonna crank this one. My little brother is on that side. He's gonna go ahead and crank the opposite side uh, just to tighten it down. Obviously you want it tight enough to where this isn't gonna come off, but not too tight to where you're breaking anything either. So after it's cranked down, give it a good movement with your hands. Make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. After you've tested it, just go ahead and insert the key. Turn it to the unlock position. Push that down, lock it, remove the key, close that, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the front ones now, and then I'll pick the camera back up after that. The rails are currently on. Next step is going and grabbing the roof box and getting that on. Luckily, I have an extra hand, my little light boy right here. It's my little brother. Good. He's here to help, which is nice because even though the roof box isn't very heavy by itself, it's really freaking big and to lift it and put it on here by yourself is annoying so if you have somebody to help you it's definitely easier All right, so next part of the process is U-bolts. I think I bought these like $20 for all four of them. Uh, generally, if you buy a roof box, it should come with them. I bought this from a friend, uh, so I was limited on what it came with, uh, but these aren't that expensive, and these are how you attach the box to the actual uh, bars. So for this, it's not too complicated. You take the bottom half of the U-bolt, put it under the railing, and then feed it through the top of the box, and then on the other side, you just sandwich it with the other half and then put the uh, little bolts down to tighten it. Perfect. So once you get all four of these guys on here, just make sure that for one, they're not that tight so you can move the box around. More. Too much. Little more towards you. Tiny bit more towards you. Push it tiniest bit. Uh, I think that's good. Looks even to me. So of course before you tighten it down, just make sure that the front and back are where you want them to be. Uh, for point of reference, I use the little antenna to go ahead and put it just on the center line of the bottom of the box. That's normally the best way to do it. On the front, I use the uh, mirror, like the point from where the mirror hangs as my centerpiece. But just look at it, make sure that you're good. Once you're all good to go, go ahead and tighten down the top bolts. All right, everything's officially tightened down. Now just to grab the top piece, put it on, and 
We're good. Definitely got to fix that crack that's in here. I believe that was here last time. And box is officially on. I know it looks like poop right now because the car's all the way aired up and it's dark. So to go ahead and show you guys what it actually looks like, I'll go ahead and pick this up tomorrow. All right, so a couple days later, but if you can't tell by the scenery, I actually did end up bringing my Q50 out snowboarding, so it kind of worked out for this video. Uh, but right now I'm staring at it, roof box looks great, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now what it looks like with the roof box on. Back home a day after my snowboarding trip. Now I know this video isn't anything too crazy or exciting, but I saw people posting in the Q50 Facebook pages about roof boxes and last year I didn't make a video, so I figured why not? And on top of that, I have really missed vlogging and uploading because I haven't done it since I've been back from SEMA. So it felt good to be in front of the camera again doing this video. And while I've been filming this video, I'm also currently doing a video for the 280ZX. That video should be out in about two to three weeks, uh, just depending because Christmas and I don't think I'm going to upload the weekend of Christmas, so probably the following weekend. So even though it wasn't anything crazy, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Still, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. I can't thank you guys enough for the 535 subscribers that I have now. We are slowly making our way to 600 and eventually, hopefully I'll be able to reach 1,000 and that's all thanks to you guys. So I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you liking the videos, commenting, following my other socials, any of that stuff. It really means a lot. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Yeah.